Hey everybody, Dave here. We're gonna call this uh, Fermentation Friday, man. We're gonna uh, check our homemade uh, wine out here, man. And as you can see, the uh, fermentation process is uh, really kicking in, man. It's uh, bubbling up and little bits of grape and everything else are all floating up to the, to the top. And the, the bubbles are, you know, you see them kind of just a little ex exploding and stuff like that so I think this process will probably take oh about two weeks or so you know and then uh, uh, I hear a lot of people say they want to you know give it one week after that and then you're gonna um, make sure that all the, the bubbles have stopped all the fermentation has stopped and stuff like that and I gave it just a little bit of a uh, slight bit of a, a shake um, today but uh, it's looking good and as you can see if you've been following along on this uh, the color is most definitely changing and uh, it is getting closer and closer to what I call burgundy when it first started out it was uh, literally the color of this cap uh, almost like a purplish with a, you know a little bit of a brown uh, li uh, liquid to it but this is definitely uh, taking on more of a uh, burgundy um, color and the little chunks of uh, grape and stuff like that that I I missed um, going in which won't hurt it a bit it'll it'll chew it all to pieces and uh, all up along the uh, rim here it uh, had gunk all had gotten all up in there and you can see still a little bit of it not much but this is looking good man um, like I said if you try this make sure if you're gonna use this plastic bottle um, do not under any circumstances leave this cap on full tight because it will blow completely off and you'll have yourself a you know a complete and utter mess so go to tight and then back it off and you don't want to where it'll flip off but you know a couple of you know, full twist or something like that where it's uh move around a little bit and let that uh carbon dioxide escape and, and i mean you can see the bubbles doing this thing so you can just imagine the back pressure that would uh develop in this so and uh after watching a great many videos and stuff like that i have uh come to find out that uh more sugar makes a sweeter uh type of a wine where less sugar makes a drier type of a wine but it will probably have a bit more kick to it so we shall see here in a couple weeks we're going to do a live or a video or something in which we will do a, a wine tasting and might have a little couple of hunks of cheese or something like that so um, be cool to have a, a live or something like that but you can do this uh, with any fruit um, I even heard somebody say you could do it with a vegetable. Now, I don't know about all that, but, uh, it's just, uh, if this works, and it looks like it is working, we will become, uh, a bit more, uh, experimental in our efforts. So, like I said, we'll call this Fermentation Friday. Let's spin it around that way you can get uh, a full view of everything. And... When it finally finishes its fermentation, you know, we'll get like, I don't know, cheesecloth or something, something really fine. And, uh, you know, we'll strain this out right good. Then uh, we'll probably let it sit in the uh, darkened cabinet for, oh, I don't know, another two, three, four days. Let it settle down and uh, then might uh, go to the fridge. What do y'all think about that? Wine in the fridge or not? or leave homemade wine out and about just let it do its room temperature thing all right well it's been outside in the in the light here now for um a little bit we're coming up on about five minutes so we want to restore this to its uh darkened place and when i the first two or three days in it i was in a cabinet that it was probably about me i don't know 74 ish 75 degrees 
but uh, the, the last couple days after that, I moved it to some place where it was uh, uh, closer to 80 in there. As a matter of fact, it was underneath a big TV, big, big screen TV where all that heat gets up in there and it's dark and everything like that. And when I did, the uh, yeast and all that fermentation process really, really kicked in. So, but if you try this, like I said, it, I have been told that it can take up to 36 hours. All right, thanks for uh, dropping by for Fermentation Friday. And uh, here you are seeing me uh, edit this video. And uh, we'll put this thing up and you can see it Friday morning. And that'll be about uh, day six of the beginning of this project. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. And let's go put this guy back in his darkened cabinet.